とうあなたが私のマスターかハローブロン、Welcome back for some more Pokemon Sword The Isle No, The Crown Tundra is where we're at Also, we have one final Pikachu to get, so I'm gonna get him right now because I would never get him otherwise because I would forget. It's for the new hat from、uh, Pokemon, Pokemon Journeys, it's called.、Uh, it's no gift was found, that's because it's a password, stupid. Alright, so it is K I N P. One K A eighteen fifty five. It's like Kin Pika is like Golden Pika. No idea what the eighteen fifty five is. The World Cap. Let's see this boy. This one is new. This one was not in previous games, unlike the other hat Pikachu. There he is. Pika Pika Pika. Alright, you got Pikachu, go check your boxes. We will after. Alright, we also have to report back because we have the actual king with us.、Uh, so let's go. Let's. <laughs> I... Will anyone comment on this, I wonder? Will you be like, boy, I sure wonder where that king is? It's like literally right behind me, huh? Let's get you in view. We'll continue to live here even if the king is no longer with us. Look backwards. He's right here. Hi, bud. Okay. It's a bit weird with how alive I know you are. Have you seen that massive tree south of the village? Yes. Yes, I have. Um, let's go talk to you and be like, hey, guess what? Oi, oi, chief. How's the adventuring? Anything to report? What about the legend of the King of Bountiful Harvest? Calyrex, I got him. What, you really caught Calyrex from the legends? That's all sure make a brilliant report away. That, that, that noggin's massive! Is that the King of Bountiful Harvest? The one calling the shots around here? Could have sworn I've seen it before. And then again, maybe not. Anyway, it's definitely regal of it to have a steed. And that massive head of does sort of resemble a crown. It's kingly enough at any rate. Let's call this a successful expedition. Save your report all there is on legendary clue one of the King of Bountiful Harvests. I'll mark this one done. And to check, we got it. Looks like that's all the report. You've got a report just now. Go give those other legends a nice thorough investigating. What? Which ones? No, we got them all. Huh? Well, how about that, Chief? Looks like that was the last bit of the Grand Peony Advent Tour that I have for you. Oh, this is, oh, this is it. Now, this is an occasion. What's the word? Ultra Mega Epic. Your passion for all this caught me off guard, Chief. The whole adventurer thing was built out of a load of rubbish I scraped together. Even I had no my doubts about the whole thing, but you, you went with it with a ton of energy. You don't suppose that those Pokemon you caught really were the one of the legends, do you? I do! Nah, actually, never mind. You don't have to tell me anything. A look at your face tells me everything I need to know, Chief. Well, I can tell that you must have done some ultra mega epic exploring. And whatever you just discovered on your way, that's a special treasure just for you. I'm not a good about to rain on your parade by being nosy and asking silly questions. Well, Chief Saber, thanks for sticking around and finishing every part of my adventure. I want you to have this. Consider it my way of saying thank you. Yo, you got. Oh, I guess we should check that out. We got his rare league card, too. But I can't shake the feeling I'm forgetting something. <laughs> Dad! People in here all the way outside, you know? My darling Nia! This place isn't bad, so this is where you're staying? Oh, hey, Saber. Fancy meeting you outside the Max Slayer for once. I never went back in there to see you again. That's、yeah, been a while. <laughs> you're really on my wavelength. So you actually got my old man company. Cheers, I owe you one. I've had my fill of Dynamax adventures now, so I thought I might as well try one of those what do you call them tours my old man was going on about.、Uh, oh. Uh, why'd everyone suddenly go quiet? Hold on, just give me a moat. I'll come up with some new legends straight away. You'll have your adventure, Nia. A nice father daughter expedition, finally. Whoa, 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 one sec. You'll come up with legends? This is way too close. I need some personal space here. Right, first things first. I got something for you, Nia. Here, I made this brilliantly shiny explorer's outfit for you. You can get changed while I come up with something. 
On the road. Are you trying to turn me into a disco ball or something? Why, why have I got to wear this golden one when yours is normal? Isn't it obvious? You're my darling daughter. I want to shine so bright that I want you to shine so bright everyone notices you. Uh, it's things like this. I've changed my mind. Here, you have this. Uh, but why? Wow, he's really going back. A gold expedition uniform. That's gaudy. I'm heading back to my own adventure. Time to catch some more Dynamax Pokemon. No, come back, Nia. No, to be so rebellious. I know you really love me, don't you? Uh, sorry for the commotion, Chief. It was a blast exploring with you. You're free to keep using our base camp, of course. Anyway, time for me to go spend some quality time with my darling daughter. Hold on, Nia. Wait for me. Wah, wah. What a funny time. And the slow fade out. The end. Except not. I know there's more. Like, I know there's more. So. Hey, what's this? You obtained a legendary clue? Put the legendary clue away. Uh, there's a mysterious clue that Peony seems to have dropped. There's a photo opening a uh, shiny hole above the max layer. It's a strange note like a legendary clue. Um, mysterious large hole that connects other worlds to... Our, our world to another. This phenomenon was originally discovered by Professor Mon. Oh, that's from um, so um, Sun and Moon. The hole uh, connects to worlds where ultra beasts live. There are beasts that are different from the Pokemon we are familiar with. Did Chief Peony lo lose this? You should deliver it to him at the Max Slayer. Oh, -ho, that we will. Um, what was I going to do? There's something I was thinking of. I uh, changed my outfit. So now, honestly, I'm looking at this hat. Let's see here. Okay, no, not that. The gold hat? Gold hard hat? That's kind of cool. Hmm. What sort of hats do I want? I mean, the knit beret is still so perfect. I kind of kind of want to go back to that for a bit, you know? Just for a bit. Just for a touch. Now, do we have gold boots, though? Oh, those are... Actually, I like the hiking boots a bit. Mm, no, these these are cuter. Okay, and that's the important thing. Um, anything else here for us to look at? Compression tights. We'll put back on the party tights. Go with this look. Yeah, that's good. Up to your lead cards, sure. Okay, right. Look at the lead cards. That's what it was. I always forget about those. Okay, album. Okay, let's go to Clara. Uh, did, did we get that one last time? Yeah, we did. And then I got some friends here. Yuki's my friend. So is Tech. Wow, you're boring, Tech. Peony. Peony's card. Peony is a former steel type gym leader. His powerful and dynamic battle style meant that anyone stuck in on pitch maintenance had the work cut out for them. To this day, he's known as Steel Peony. That's a rough name. I don't know about that. As many fans, especially among men. All oh, right, that's why I kept seeing those things that are like gay icon Peony. Which sure, I can accept. This photo is actually a composite photo made before Peony came to the Crown Chandra. It was originally a poster Peony stuck in the travel planner he made for his daughter, but she threw it away in short order. Peony liked the way it looked and decided to use it for his lead card. Amazing. And then we got this one. Oh, that's cute. Um, I like that. Oh, yeah. So that's his his uh, uniform there. That's nice. And I'm guessing that's the mom there. Uh, though this is seldom addressed publicly, Peony's in fact Rose's younger brother. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I can see that. Peeny was since compared to his brilliant older brother since he was born, causing him to gradually rebel and become a delinquent. He eventually ran away from home, only to become a gym leader once his talents were recognized. He was even champions once, but shortly after, Rose became league chairman. This caused Peeny to vanish entirely. The Copper Raja on Peeny's team has been there since it was a coffin. It was the first Pokemon Peeny caught together with his brother. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry. I also realized it's HFC. Haha. <laughs> um, Okay. Oh, I have mult I have a lot of Yuki's actually. There's Beat. Wow, Beat Beat sure looks like the Beat I know. Um, do we have Rose's card actually? Yep. Yeah, I can see it. 
Special at the top? Okay, yeah, we can do that. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I did not actually know that. Anyways, let's go on the lookout for some, uh, for some stuff. So we need to head to the max there. So one thing that I did learn is that there is, because of the way that it's DLC is, you can access it, like, right from the start of the game. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, what what are those? Am I supposed to know what these are? Yes, there you Oh! Hi, Sonia! These are exactly what I was looking for. I knew my hypothesis was spot on. Huh, wait, Saber! I like that face. What are you doing in a place like this? Exploring! Are you having me on this freezing place? Hardly the kind of locale I'd go to pick, I'd pick to go exploring if it were up to me. But here I am, stuck in the Crown Tundra, trying to learn more about a group of Pokemon. Please cover yourself up, ma'am. It's really cold out. There are some Pokemon that prefer places where there are no people, you see. Pokemon that choose to live in isolation. The Crown Tundra here is just the place for that sort of Pokemon. If my theory is correct, I think a certain trio of legendary Pokemon could be lurking somewhere in these lands. Oh, right, the, the Musketeers. I'm sure my theory's not wrong. If you wanted some proof, then look here. See these footprints? Okay, I click on them. Found evidence of the Iron Will Pokemon. There's 2% of the... Oh, God, are you for real? My theory is that the legendary Iron Will Pokemon, Cavern Pokemon, and Grassland Pokemon are all out here somewhere in the Crown Tundra. And there's evidence like this scattered all over the place that'll lead us to them. If we find more evidence and collect 100% of the data needed to track these legendary Pokemon, I bet we could use the Pokemon Finder to figure out what habitats they're living in. But this place is wicked cold. It's putting me in hibernation mode. Are you planning to stick around here for a while, Saber? If you try to spot more evidence like this and report to me when you find it, I'll reward you for your hard work, of course. I'll be waiting in that house over there so I can warm and stay warm and cozy and maybe feel my fingers. Or so that I can grip a pen and write, of course, since I'll be working so hard on my research. Oh, her theme is still so good. Well, that's a thing that I didn't know about. Great! Well, that's the whole thing we're going to need to deal with. What I was saying was, is, but, uh, from the way this DLC is laid out, one thing that you'll actually be able to do is... Oh, I want to kill you and get some watts. Uh, you can start it from a new game and pretty much get a level 65 Pokemon from the Dynamax Adventures real fast. Which means you can basically start the game and be ready to, like, be, have a level 65 that will listen to you. That's wild! Anyways, let's Megahorn him and kill him in one hit. That's not going to work on me, fool. Rad. Cool, cool, cool. Get it? Because it's it's cold. Oh, right, we have the uh, the life orb on. I was like, why? Right, life orb. It'll be so strong. 301 watts. Hey, there's some. Okay, well, that's going to be... I wonder if they're randomly generated. Oh, is that another? Okay. These are seemingly not too hard to find. Seemingly. If they're literally just going to be, like, everywhere, then it's like, I'll just get as many as I can. You know, off... Not off camera, but, you know... Get him and, and do him later. Let's see here. So we need to go to the top of the... I don't even know if I'm going the right way. Where are we? Top of the max layer. Well, why don't we just go up here? <laughs> Make it much easier. Fly up there. There we go. Slippery slope. That's my favorite type of argument on the internet. Um, so... Oh, Dubwool. I always forget about Dubwool. He's a Pokemon that, like... I mean, the, the, his pre-evolution is just so much better, so... That's why I don't necessarily remember him. It's weird seeing Magmar out and about, you know? I mean, I guess. But it's just like, they're, they don't really make sense to be in the Tundra. So, I will say, overall... Um, in terms of layout, I think I like the Isle of Armor more in terms of an actual, like, you know, place. Uh, however, it's still pretty good. Okay, so they said above the max layer? 
So let's see here. Let's go in and see if see if we can talk to him here. Yeah, okay, they're here. And apparently I missed an item somewhere in here, two people were saying. I think people were saying I missed an item. It's entirely possible, but also entirely a lie. Hi. Oh, hey, Saber, you all right? Miki, I'm carrying on like usual. The scientist lady I used to work at a lab in the Alola region. Doesn't Alola sound absolutely brilliant? Just think, all the malasadas you could eat. Hey, bud, you could drop something. Hey there, Chief. Thanks for stopping by. Finally getting a little quality family time with my darling Nia. She looks so mad. Hmm? I dropped something at base camp? Is it really mine? I don't remember really writing it. Hang on. Isn't that the Max Slayer there in the clue? Wow. Huh? What what happened? Creatures, a horde of creatures appeared inside the Max Slayer, and we don't know if they're Pokemon. What? Has something caused alien beings to appear? And is this somehow connected to the, that ultra wormhole that opened up briefly in the sky? Well, sounds like something, some of the new crazy things afoot. Know what that means, Chief? Bet you a new expedition's approaching. And I know just what to call this one. They came from the Ultra Beyond in stereo. How'd you like that one, Chief? Anyway, now here's your goal. Catch the Pokemon or whatever in the photo on that odd clue. Now get pumped for some more adventuring. Yeah. Well, what's on the clue even? I didn't even look, actually. I wonder if we can look at it. What is that up there? Oh, that's a Necrozma! He's somehow both and not a, uh, a, 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 a Ultra Beast. We have Pokemon helping out in our investigations too, you know? Um, oh, I appreciate the hello, but we're not ready for what uh, Try again when some more of them under your belt. Oh, okay. Sure. Got wonderful items in exchange for the Dynite or That's fine. We're good right now. Okay, well... Like to unbox your Dynamax adventure? Yes. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes. We'll do another one of these, boys. So, obviously, I won't be playing with everyone. Let's do... Wait. Actually, if I quit and I put the game onto Wi-Fi... If I go onto Wi-Fi, could I join people online? Would that be possible? Or will it force me to not? Let's see here. Let's, yes please, and I'd like to invite people this time. Let's see if they can join us. Invite others. Let's see if it works. So like I said, I'm not going to be going through and like doing everything. Wow, that went fast. Steve, Lucas, Sendai, Saber. Wow, that was remarkably quick. Okay. We're good to go. Don't let me down, dudes. Don't screw this up! You can borrow one of these Pokemon. Okay, let's see here. I don't... Out of all those... I kind of want Cramorant. So you pick Greedent. Um, let's go with Cramorant, sure. Oh, pick Hitmonlee. Yeah, okay. Sounds good, let's go. Normal, normal, and then those types, and then those types, and then up there. There's a strong fire type reaction, okay? Well, we picked a good type for this. Um, I can't tell what they really are. I kind of want this one. I guess I should have looked ahead, huh? That's okay. Oh. We're picking that direction? Okay. Oh, probably because there's more things up there to actually pick from, huh? What do we got? I couldn't even tell what that was. I mean, either way, we have a Hitmonlee here, so we'll do pretty good, I bet. Oh! It looked like it had tentacles! Aren't you part fairy type too? Or am I confused? I might be confused. Okay. Um... Amnesia does raising special defense. Throat chop is preventing sound moves. I think Chinchina would have sound moves, so let's try. Let's give it a use. 
I wonder if that would even work, actually. We'll see. Maybe the max versions don't count, but I bet you the regular ones do. Oh, no. Please, God, no. No, no, no. I don't want to see this on screen. Please. Why would you show this to me? My number one least favorite Pokemon of all time, I have to say. I hate its face. Hailstorm, huh? Dang, dude. That kind of sucks. Does that make it hail? Yeah, that's going to suck. I mean, it's also going to take a bit of damage, but not a lot. Okay. Close combat. Oh, well, there we go. Nice. Critical hit. That's fine, because it'll, it'll be... You know, we just need one more hit, really. There we go. Personally, I don't need a Chinchino. Um, I mean, I'm gonna... Just throw a Pokeball, I guess. See if anyone else wants it. Okay. Chinchina was caught. So I know that the shiny part is only... E yeah, see, echoed voice. Wait, triple axel might be interesting, actually. Um, I'm good right now. You decided to press forward with your current Pokemon. Okay. Let's see here what's next. Kingler, Golurk. I could do pretty good with Golurk, actually. Let's try this. Plus, we get some berries, it looks like. Golurk it is. Let's get some berries. Got found some berries. Is that heal? Nice. That's useful. Okay. I do like me a good go lurk. So yeah, uh, the shiny aspect, if they come out shiny or not, you only learn at the very end. And the chance of them being shiny is about 1 in 100 um, for uh, once you have the shiny charm, which I do have. Okay, I'm going to use... Should I just use dive? That'll keep me safe and deal good damage, so sure. You guys can do some of that while well, I'm going down into the ground. The water. Show me this big stun fisk. I need to see what it looks like. The biggest pancake. It is so huge. It's so small. It's like it's thin. But that kind of makes it more terrifying. Wide guard, huh? I don't even know what wide guard really does. Does it lower defense or something? So that oh, and dive gives me um, a fish in my mouth, huh? Yay, nice. Okay, let's hop up. And it's raining. I'm going to deal extra damage. Nice. Psychic fangs. What a strange move for it to have. I'm good to go. I'm already set. I have to just wait for you guys to do your moves. Hey, there's now a fish in my mouth. I remember when we first saw that fish, they didn't actually tell us um, about it being a separate Pokemon. So people were like, is that just going to be a fish Pokemon? <laughs> that animation is so funny. Nice. Is this going to be it? Oh, so close. Well, he'll probably die to the burn. Nice. Yes, I do want a go lurk. Always a fan of a good go lurk. Now, the question of if I want to switch out for him probably won't be 
probably not for me. Because again, if it's a fire type at the end, I'm already good to go. Okay. Uh, Focus Punch. Scorching Sands, though, is interesting. Uh, he wants to? Okay, I'm good. You can have it. Aw, oh, they're gonna fight over it. Okay, he got it. That works. That's fine. Fighting or poison? What is that ground type? Oh, it's Flygon. Let's go fighting. Feel like we could do a better job with fighting. I didn't even get to see what that fire type was up there. It's probably Entei. Oh, well, let's see. Do I even have a flying type move? Oh, we get an upskirt. Oh, I don't know about that. Well, I could Dynamax. Except there's nothing that would be really too good with him. Max Guard. Uh, enables the user to protect itself. I mean, probably Max Geyser would be the best. Or I could just not. Hmm. Sure, whatever. It's better than nothing. But not better than nothing. Get it? Because there's a Greedent there. Oh, he's so big. I wonder if I were to have used Dive, would the... Would the gigant would the would the the other guy in there do it? Oh, he's doing focus punch, huh? Interesting. Okay, now that I can do it. Wide guard Pokemon. What does it actually do? It says wide guard, non-damaging rock type move. Protects all Pokemon uh, for the rest of the turn. Damaging move that targets multiple Pokemon, even those used on a... So, if he uses a multi-hit move, it, it gets guarded. Not that amazing, I'm going to be honest here. That Focus Punch did deal some good damage, though. That would, that would matter more to... Okay, but and then Gen... Gen 7 also protects against... Um, Status moves. Interesting. Okay. Interesting, but not amazing. That should finish it. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna need to just bring tons of Pokeballs for this, huh? <laughs> it's like it's, it's seemingly necessary. So I wonder... I wonder... Am I going to need to... Because if that's an Entei up there, and that is not an Ultra Beast, where would I go for the Ultra Beasts, I wonder? Hmm, I'll have to see. What'd you have, dude? <sighs> Probably nothing better. Um, that's pretty good, but I'm good. I have my Cramorant for the Fire type. I mean, Steve might look at that and go, that's an upgrade, or he might not. Lucas, it's up to you, bud. Honestly, none of those will help with the, with the fire type at the end, so. Alright, what is it? What do we got? It is Entei! Alright. Let's rant these crams. Okay. Um, I mean, just dive. It's the best move, and because uh, not only do I get saved from damage, but I come up and I get the fish, which, you know, is nice little, little coverage if he does a multi-hit or something. Alright, are we gonna get giant Hitmonlee? We are. 
That'll probably raise it. He'll probably use a fighting type move, which will raise attack, I bet, which might be useful. Look at this baby Chairman Rose. Okay. Gonna do a big old kick. Scary face, huh? Okay. Sure. Make him slower, I guess. There I go. Yeet into the water I go. Max Knuckle, raising our attack. Wonder if it'll miss me because I'm underground. Okay. It did not. That's good. Body slam. Oh, that's nice. Scorching sands, that's useful. Hmm. So that's 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 all good. That's all good. What are we what are we doing, guys? Well, I'm gonna use dive. Yeah, it's me! Can put up a shield? Not, not yet. It's probably gonna be at the half HP point. Probably right about now, right? Hey, that's awesome. There we go. That's the shield. No, it's just no shield. Just attacks. Just extra attacks. Okay. Um, I mean, I could dive again, but honestly, it's gonna take too long, so let's just throw- Chop! We've been boosted for our attack, so... Not by a lot. This should probably finish this off. Okay. Well, let's catch you, of course. Um, what'd be a cool ball for you? I'm not gonna waste that on you, for sure. Um, I mean, honestly, it's 100% catch rate, so Pokeball. It's red. Okay. Entei was caught. Well, I just did a quick Google search, because I was here. Turns out you just need to literally keep going till you get Necrozma. Are any shinies? Not shiny, not shiny, not shiny. Entei! Well, we'll grab you. Oh, we can check their summaries, actually. What do you guys have? So let's see here. Chin Chinchino has Echoed Voice, Light Screen, okay, okay, okay. Got those things. Power Up Punch and all that. Iron Fist. Iron Fist Pressure. Yeah, I mean, that's good. Then again... Well, I already have a Shiny Entei. I was gonna say I could keep going back to try and get a Shiny... I have a Shiny Entei. Yeah, we'll take Entei with me. Uh, we got 13. Cool, that's good. So yeah, it seems you just need to keep going to get a Necrozma. I sure wonder if I can just, like, show him a Necrozma that I have. Let's try. Because honestly, much as I would not, much as I would like to go back and forth with trying to get one forever, I could also just like take this. Let's see if it has to be one that you get from, from this. So first off, let's break you back up. To use that, I need the Lunarizer. I know, that name sucks. Oh well. Alright, let's show. Oh, yo, Chief got some nudge to show me? Have a look! What you got for me? I have... Necrozma. Is this one's Necrozma, the prism Pokemon? Looks pretty dark and, uh, unprismy, eh? Well, came from another world looking for light? Seems like, uh, sounds like you just need to get more time out in the sun, Necrozma, mate. Chin up, you'll be sparkling with energy in no time. The picture of prismatic health. Pokemon sure looks like the one for that mystery clue, I'll give you that. Something tells me this Pokemon didn't come from this lair. Okay. Alright. Turns out you can't cheat. So that's good to know. 
I wonder if I can show this form, though. If, if, he, if he says something different. Let's see here. Have a look. Necrozmas is the same. Oh, no. it's Yeah, it's the same. Okay, so you can show him other ones, though, and that's pretty neat. Okay. Slow and steady. You have something to say? Oh, hey, it's you, Saber. This time I found Nihiligo down in the Max Lair. Oh, neat. I'm good, though, right now. Okay. Wait, does that go away with that? Oh, so... Okay, well, I lost that. Well, okay, that's fine. Um, so... I'm trying to think what else is there to do. Um, because I don't necessarily really want to have to grind out those things forever you know um let's just move you all like one over yeah uh i don't want to be grinding them out forever hmm well what i can do is because i do want to play them um but then again after i'll be always recording them oh that sucks hmm Hmm. I'll have to see here. I'm also putting space there because I can get a Cosmo him now. Um, put, nope. Put you there. I can also get your other form. So I think what I'll do is, now, what am I doing? Why are you here? You're not even, oh, you're supposed to be in my party. I'm sorry. I'm trying to think and play at the same time. It's not going too great. Um, so we'll also get the other Pikachu that we had there. I need to find. Um, what I'll do is I'll play and I'll keep looking for Necrozma. Um, looking for stuff. If something comes up, I will, I will, sh well, I don't have to show myself getting it really because of the fact that it's like, it's, I mean, it's just another, it's more ultra raids, you know? Um, okay. So here's what I'll do. I'm going to take, I'm going to cut here. I will come back once I have found all of the, um, all the footprints, as well as Necrozma from the base. So that's the plan. I will see you guys in a second when I can move on from that. Hey, so I was in the cave and I... Did a couple missions. I fought and beat Zygarde, but I said no because I wanted shiny. I fought um, a couple different ones, and I didn't. I because I want shinies of the ones that I don't have shinies of. So any legendaries that I fought and was like, hey, that's not shiny. I put it away uh, because I want shinies, and that's what I'll be using this for. But however, okay, I walked out of the cave and this happened. Saber at last. Hello, hello, you there? This is Saber's Rodham phone, right? Yes. Brilliant. I asked Hop for your number. I'm glad he didn't pull anything funny like giving me the wrong one. So I guess I should have said who was calling you, eh? Oh, it's me, Leon. Sorry if I took you aback. But rest assured, there can be a pretty good reason for me to call you out of the blue like this. The former champion of Galar has a favor to ask of the current champion. That's you, Saber. Come on over to Winden Stadium and I'll tell you all the details. I'll head over there myself, and I swear I won't take any T-Tours or get lost. Well, that's interesting. That is interesting. Well, like I said, I was just coming out to get some more items and stuff because currently, um, like I said, I'll show you what I got. Nothing too crazy. I mean, I got a Pukumuku right here. I'm going to start putting them, I guess, just in another box to be like, hey, that's my, that's where they go. I got a Palo Sand because I was like, you know what? At the, because again, I got to the end and I'm like, yeah, I don't want one that's that's not shiny, so I'm gonna hold off for that. Um, because you only get one of each, so I did get the Entei there, so that's good. I already have a shiny Entei, so I don't, I didn't need to worry about that. Um, interesting, he's number one, 156, and he doesn't have a number. I wonder why that is. Pal yeah, Palosend's in the decks. Yeah, he is. I was going to say, but he's he's in the other decks. Um, before I go, though, there's a couple things I do want to take a look at. So for one, um, let's go and I'm going to go to the village here because I remembered something, which if you remember, there was the lady who had Fufi, right? 
Now if we go and try and say hi to Foofy. Let's see here. Thank you for protecting the village from that awful bully of a Pokemon. I think I can trust you to take care of my dear Foofy. Would you be willing? Yes. I uh, really thank you, dear. That's a weight off my shoulders. Aren't you happy too, Foofy? Mog Mog. We got Cosmog. Hey, that's pretty cool. I already have a Cosmog, though. Guess what? The Cosmog will not be a Cosmog. The Cosmog I'm going to evolve into a Cosmom because I... That was one Pokemon that I didn't actually have. So that's one that I do want to have. That's level 5. Um, so let's take that and let's give you so many candies. You will be so stuffed full of candies, you are going to hate living. So let's go by type. So let's go... My dude. Please eat 40 large candies. Plus 400,000. There we go. What? Cosmog is evolving, and I won't let him evolve again. There we go. We now have a Cosmoem, who is the heaviest Pokemon. We got Cosmic Power. There we go. Cosmoem, finally. I have never had one of those, because I've never wanted to get rid of my, my Foofy. Um, is he even in the Pokedex, actually? I don't think he is. Um, I don't think he has an entry at all. Because I don't think... No, probably not. But he's like... I think in the Pokedex, he's like 9,999 pounds. Because, of course, it's it's super dense, right? That's the whole thing. So, we are... I, all I'm missing is a Regilecki. And the Spectrie. So the question of, you know, will I get one of those? The answer is yes, eventually. Um, but it'll be in another in another playthrough there. Um, so this one is, according to lore, this Pokemon showed no mercy and would heal, uh, yet it would heal its wounds. Oh, hey, that's pretty nice. Um, okay, again, let's find Pokemon. Okay, well, welcome to the Team Cosmoim. You are one that was a long time coming. So... We'll be checking out the um, the Star Tournament there after I try and get some of these Pokemon that I still need to get transferred or get, get done, right? Yeah, now we got them both there, see? Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep working on getting Necrozma, um, keep looking for Shinies and stuff, because, I mean, as cool as it is to get ones that are, that are like, you know, because I think this is, this is yeah, because I, I have my Shiny Entei already in here. I already have the shiny dogs from the promotion. I have a shiny Lugia that I caught, or rather got traded to me a long time ago. Shiny, shiny. So I already have a lot of them that are shiny, but not all of them, right? So, oh, I wonder if, if I can find the Grissius Orb somewhere, because I want to I wanna get origin form there. Regigigas, I don't know if I'll be doing his raid. That level 100 raid sounds real rough. So I don't know about that. I do have a shiny Cresselia now, and I'll transfer it from Go later. I'd like to get the shiny of these guys for sure. That'd be good. Oh, you have Pokerus still, huh? I could transfer that to my party. I'll do that later. I'll keep I'll keep you having it there, though. That's good to have. Xerneas and Eveltal, I have shiny, but I don't have shiny Zygarde, which I do want because that's pretty dope. Um, the Cocos, and I would like some of the... Um, some of the Ultra Beast shiny. I think out of all of them, the one that I like shiny is probably Fermosa the most. Because hers looks dope. Um, and yeah. Oh, and I guess I need to also get an evolution for Poipul. Which I know you can get. Um, you eventually get a gift Poipul given to you. So that's the plan, Stan. But for now, I'm going to keep on grinding away. Uh, before we head on off to the... Uh, to the Star Tournament, so I'll see you then when I get to that. Alright, so, I have found Necrozma. I haven't beat him. I just lost to him because I had a really, really bad one. A bad run, but thankfully it lets me remember that I was here. Uh, I also got all of the um, footprints, so we'll be going to that in a second. We're gonna go after Necrozma. 
See if we can find anyone to join us for this adventure. Now, Necrozma's typing is weird. Necrozma. Because isn't it like... More... Let's see here. I keep forgetting its type, honestly. It's just pure psychic type? I always thought it was psychic dragon. So we gotta be on the lookout for stuff that is good against psychic types here. Well, none of these are. I wanna start with the Kaparaja then, because sheer force is good to have. That Lionoon would not be bad. Grabbing that wouldn't be too bad. I mean, not for attack, well, for type matchup, but not the attack. Which are you gonna grab? Probably gonna grab Eldegoss, I bet. Nope, Seedra. Okay. Interesting. Alright. So that ghost type is probably something we really want. That one big ghost type. So let's go for the ground first here. Yep. Follow me, team! It's actually the first time I'm leading the pack for this, so... Might be a Gigantamax Gengar, even. Which I think it loses Levitate, so I might be able to hit it with ground-type attacks. Alright. Start off with the Gastrodon. Oh, he has Drought, huh? Well, I'll make the Water-type attacks not hurt us as much. That's good. Sadly, this isn't a Gigantamax one. Um, do I want to go Dynamax? Sure, we can raise our attack with Max Knuckle. That's always welcome. So one thing that I learned, because recently I was playing this and then I had to go do something because I was called away. Uh, if, you, if you're, like, away, these keep going. So if you ever have a situation where it feels like one character is just waiting for the time to run down... Uh, literally that's the case. The game will continue if the time is running down. I didn't know that. It doesn't kick you out, actually. Which is... interesting. Normally, when, when a game detects inactivity, it does kick you, but not here, I guess. Psychic? Okay. It's not going to deal a lot. Dragon Pulse, similarly, probably not too much. Skitter Smack is bug type. Sure? That's fine, I guess. I'm going to max knuckle ya. Wow, you are bulky. It's easy to forget that Gastrodon is a Pokemon that is played competitively sometimes. Really? Rapid Spin? He doesn't even put down any traps. I guess it raises your speed, but does that matter a ton? I don't know. Hopefully you guys can keep attacking, though. Hyper Beam? What are you guys doing? Watch me get a really bad run and, like, totally not be able to... To get through to Necrozma. Hopefully that's not the case, but we'll see. Max Knuckle. It's tough. Sometimes you have a really good team. One time we had a Blaziken and a Swampert, and the two of them together were doing Grass Pledge and, um, or Fire Pledge and Water Pledge, and like those combine into this super cool combo move. Like, that was awesome. Damn shame that, like, other times you're given nothings. I mean, at least the Max Knuckles making Rapid Spin be more powerful. Okay, you're probably going to want to switch out your party after or something. Uh, the clade all there. Even though it'd probably be good against Necrozma, but... Because uh, we don't have a healer. Yo, if you get Audino, though, then you're so good. Because of the fact that uh, Audino can use Life Dew and Heal Pulse, and it's like you get a dedicated healer type. That's so good. Uh, Body Press is the best. Best thing we can do. Dragon Pulse. Ooh, we're getting there. 
Rapid spin. So close. One more hit. Come on. Amigo. No. Okay, well, that's good. He's just doing that. We take that. Uh-oh. Max strike on who? That's decent damage. Okay. Body press. That should do it. Yep. Okay. I also bought just a hundred Pokeballs as well as some other extra ones. Just because, again, you only need one for this. So, just go on and use it. Alright. Got you. And I'm good. I don't need to switch it out. Yeah, um... No, I think I'm pretty good. As long as I do a battle against someone with a... The better, like... Like a better type matchup for my steel type moves. Yeah, Matt switched him out, but so... Oh, Patrick wanted to. Hmm. I would have preferred Matt got it, but that's fine. So, we want this ghost or normal? Actually, bug would be probably be even better. Because we'll get to heal one. And Bug is still a good type matchup. That is a Jellicent. That is not a, um, uh, Gigantamax Gengar. Is that a Charge Bug? Let's see, what is it? Is it a Spupa? Oh my god, it's a giant bus. Well... <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Uh, ooh, I'm not doing very good here, huh? Can't uh, Fails when the ground hasn't been turned into a terrain? Shoot, can't use that then. I guess I'm going to start with an iron defense just to get, get bulked up. Substitute? Okay. If you think that's going to be a problem for a water dragon type... Oh, you got this. Wow, that was a crit, though. Thankfully, that lowers his speed, which will be nice to have, though it seems like that's not a problem for us. Okay. Big ol' bus, huh? Ancient power, that's good. Please get stats raised. Nope. Quake, uh-oh. Uh, is that gonna go for me? Nope. That's not gonna be super very effective. Okay, oh, that was a crit too, okay. That raises special defense. Gina can Dynamax, who's that? I don't even know. Um, Flash Cannon can lower the special defense, so let's use that for now. It's the best we can probably do. That bug is so big. Dragon Pulse, okay, you didn't Dynamax, which is probably for the best. Rock Tomb. Okay. Can we get a lower? Nope. Eerie Impulse? What does that do? Special attack goes down? That's actually annoying. Haven't we been lowering his speed? Why would you trick room? That just doesn't even make sense. Okay, so if I Dynamax... I... I... No. No. I'm not going to, because honestly, we need to give it to someone with, um... Rock-type moves. Oh, no! St wait, can it multi-hit String Shot? I guess String Shot can be used against multiple now, huh? Wait, if you're lowering our speed, that means that we're gonna start to go faster, even! Amazing! Crit. You guys are picking weird moves, I'm gonna be honest here. Dragon Pulse. Patrick can now Dynamax. I hope Patrick does. Be very helpful. Yeah, the, the thing about needing terrain is probably a lot better in these types of battles where once you have other people Dynamax, they can use moves that cause the terrains to happen, so... 
Possibly, at least. Haha! -ha! Fool! Stupid bus bug! Really? You guys aren't Dynamaxing? Is there a reason why? Ah, so close. Yeah, because now we're still in Trick Room, so he can go first still, which is, like, bad. Should we switch over to Charge a Bug for the, for the final opponent? Well, that hurt a bit. He's pretty defensive for a big bug, you know? I'm gonna check its stats at least. Oh, the bus has exploded. I kind of miss how violently they exploded in the beta stuff for the game. Um, I remember seeing footage early on of, like, Yamper exploding. It was way more explosive. It was comedically explosive. Okay. Let's see here. What? How is it for stats? Is it, like, really bad? It's actually really not. But we don't get any... Yeah, I'm good without it. Because we don't get any, um... Like, bug-type moves that you can attack with, and that's what we would want. Patrick, are you seriously considering it? Patrick, I swear. Okay, good. Actually, I wonder if Sheer Force... Hmm. Alright. Uh, you'd be better for us to go to, because you are Ghost-type, and that will have an advantage. And Gina can use Water-type moves. Or not. Okay. Fool me once, shame on me. Okay, so Sheer Force... Um, raises the power of damaging type moves that have additional effects, but the additional effects are ignored. So does that mean that... So does that mean that I can use Kaparaja's... Um... His rolling... The rolling thing. Hmm. Because it's... The move is called Steel Roller. And... Steel Roller, can it be affect by... You know what, let's give it a shot. Let's see if Steel Roller takes bonus damage and also doesn't hurt. I guess he's still Dark-type, so that works. Let's see here. Because it says it ignores it to do damage, right? So would... If so, that's amazing. That's really good. Steel Roller plus Sheer Force? I mean, it's... I mean, if you use a Water-type... Well, that's not a terrain, though. Let's see. Okay, alright. I mean, we haven't had a death so far, which is pretty good. Okay, Max Geyser. I'll be good. I might switch over to this. Oh, he's slow. I might switch over to it, actually, if, if, if I give that as a choice. Then again, Steel Roller is pretty good if, if it works. Nice. Nope. Okay. Well, that's good to know. So, even Sheer Force does not get rid of the negative for it. Ah, well. Now we know. Let's do a Flash Cannon instead. I never was able to get a Lycanroc Knight. So, I think I, I did get one, though, from this exact scenario where I got one. Uh, through the these battles. So, that that's good. I have one now. That should definitely be it. Yeah, there he goes. Okay. Um, I'm going to catch it. Now, here's the thing. If... If the um, Necrozma uses a G-Max Mindstorm... That causes the battlefield to get weird, which I think is a type of terrain. It's psychic terrain. So then we'd be able to use it. So we'll have to see. 
Uh, he does have crunch. Let's see if anyone else wants it. I think Patrick's probably going to grab it. Patrick's probably going to grab it if I'm correct. Let's see here. That's well, actually, it might be between Patrick and Mike, or Matt. Why did I say Mike? No guard is good for sure. Okay, so Patrick wants it. Okay. Good, good. Alright, and we're on our way. No deaths so far, so that's pretty good. We can just hope and pray that he uses um a G-Max Mindstorm move to make the battlefield weird. Or someone uses a move that makes a terrain. Alright. The Krozma hath appeared. Now, I'm labeled as that, but I'm not going to use that. Instead... I'm going to try and lower its special defense while I can. Oh, cool. It's like see-through at the top. Okay, that's good. Dragon Pulse. Yeah, it's not Dragon type. I made that mistake. Psycho Cut. Could have hurt. We're doing Trick Room again. It's like in the middle of our of our speed, so I mean, sure. Um, it's flash cannon again. That's what we want. We want G Max, big ol' furry wolf boy. do well that's not good okay lightning well doesn't that give electric terrain we can use that to our advantage for a bit good okay one, one of four. Max Darkness, nice. Good hit, good hit. Some solid damage there. And that lowers his special defense, which I prefer regular defense. Okay, let's do a Steel Roller. Let's see how much damage that does, because if we have Sheer Force plus the Roller, that could be good. Hey, could we get a heal? Ah, dang. Okay, Ancient Power. Don't you have any Ghost-type moves? Oh, that's good damage. Ah, but we get rid of it. Okay, so it does get rid of it. Good to know. Alright, well, that's a little bit annoying. But hey, good news, the, the Darkness means... Yeah, it's not going to be effective. The Darkness means that it'll um go down again now. Okay. I kind of wish if Necrozma went, or Necrozma had its, um, crazy form as a- Wow! That's not even with Sturdy, that's just being lucky, huh? Um, I wish it had its, um, true dragon form as, like, a Gigantamax, because that's such a cool design to, like, not be able to be used. You know? Why? Why would you use Hyper Beam? That's so not good. You're gonna survive that. Yep. Dragon Pulse. Alright, this darkness might honestly do it. Nope, never mind. But he's gonna start getting desperate now. Let's see. Maybe not. Okay, so you're there. That's two. As long as he doesn't do something crazy stupid, we should be good. So you're done. That's alright. Hey, if Trick Room could stop, then you could go first. It's not happening. Okay. Come on, let's get a cheer and heal. Heal up. Stat boost. Yeah, what do we get? Ref oh, that's not that good. Just kidding, we did it! 
Yay! Alright, well, let's get him, honestly. If I have to put him into something... He's, he's the only Ultra Beast that you can't actually put into a Beast Ball, uh, with, uh, for free at least, so let's use that. Okay. Well, there we go. And we got him in a beast ball. Okay. Um oh god, if he's shiny, I'm gonna scream. Okay, let's see here. So not shiny. Not shiny. Not shiny and <gasps> he's not shiny. Well Oh well, that's fine. I've still yet to find a shiny here, but this Necrozma we need, so we got that. Okay, Necrozma has been sent to a box. Now saving, cool beans. Well done defeating that tough opponent, hope we'll see you again soon. We shall, once I take this, and grab the new Necrozma. See, so yeah, I'll just show you some of the ones that I have here. Most of them are like, you know, like pretty much nothing. Barbarnacle. I did grab Cresselia because I have the shiny one in another game. Lycanroc, Eldegoss. I got Nidorino because I need it for the Pokedex. Uxi because I don't care about getting the shiny form. Circuitry, I don't care about a shiny, so I got that. Latias, I don't care about a shiny, so I got it. And then we got Duraladon in the last one because I just, just barely lost. Hey, bud, guess what? Oi, oi, Chief, got something legendary to show me? Huh? I thought you got a Pokemon by using that mysterious clue? Let me have a look, would ya? So this one's Necrozma, the Prism Pokemon, eh? Looks pretty dark and unprismy. Came from another world looking for light? Sounds like you just need to get more time out in the sun, Necrozma, mate. Cheer up and be sparkly in no time, the picture of prismatic health. That's that, anyway. Chief, mind, let me see that legendary clue. Check off. Uh, I didn't write this clue, Chief, but let's not let that stop the fun. Excuse me, where do you find that paper, exactly? Uh, it was at our base camp. It's actually from my notes. I wonder how this could have happened. Ah, haven't got a shred of idea. Indeed, sir. I imagine you haven't. Anyway, I'm quite relieved that you found the paper. Not to mention you've caught Necrozma, the one responsible for that ultra wormhole. Please accept this as my as a reward for uh for your cooperation in my research. What do I get? I, oh shoot, an ability patch. Oh my god, nice. A patch that allows a Pokemon with a regular ability to have a rare ability. You got a Beast Ball. Well, I got that back at least. Oh, no need to boy returning the paper. I've got another copy. I've got to hand it to you, Chief. Only you could track down and catch a thing like that with just a single photo to get on. So I've got to say, you guys have come to the end of a chapter or something, hasn't it? You look ready to keep on going for a while, though, yet. Go on then, Chief. Can't wait to hear about all the exploits and adventures you get to from here on out. Well, that's that, then. Yeah, the ability patch is a really good item. Um, trick to having good Dynamax. Max Knuckle. She actually gave me a um an eyepiece, a red eyepiece. So I'm gonna go check that out later. Uh, wonderful items. So yeah, you can get the ability patch for 200 of the ore, but like the ability patch is it lets your Pokemon have its rare ability. Its rare ability is usually something even better than what it has like right now. Not every Pokemon can have it. You know, like, um, but it's still good, like, like, for example, if I were to get Cheesy's, um, hidden ability Pokemon, I need to look these up, because honestly, I don't know most of the hidden abilities off by heart. Um, so let's see here, hidden ability, let's the Pokemon with hidden abilities. Okay, so, if I were to go for, like, Swampert, can, can I not... Can I not type in Swampert? Does it not let... Wow, they don't have the full list. Bulbapedia, dang, dude. Dang, Pokemon hidden abilities. Are you for real? Because here's the thing. I don't think it tells you what it is when you select it. So, um, okay. So then now, let's take a look. Swampert gets damp. That's not very good. That just means explosion moves don't work. Uh, Surfetched gets Scrappy. This is already its hidden ability. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't think I'd look at it for you. Actually, I have a, um, 
I have a level 100 Blaziken that, uh, would, well, let's see here. Yeah, because I have this, or level 56. Level 56 Shiny Blaziken. If I were to give it speed boost, that'd be really good. Hmm. That's an option for sure, for sure, for sure. But at the same time, I don't, I kind of not, don't want to use it right now because it's, it's too, too much power, you know? So I'm going to hold off and just keep this Necrozma then for, for now. But that is a good item. Anyways, uh, we have all the, um, all the different, da, 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 footprints done. So let's go deal with that. Let's go see Professor Sonia. Uh, they just spawn wherever. Oh, wow. Hello. Probably just a TR. Yeah, it's cosmic power. Um, they just spawn wherever, and you can, like, find them in line. So it's not too bad. You can just kind of follow the line, and it will tell you exactly where to go. Uh, so, yeah, it wasn't too much. The toughest one was finding the grass ones, because they're kind of everywhere. Um, the iron will and ca cavern ones were much, much easier. Uh, were you in here, perhaps? I guess we can turn off the internet, because that's just going to be going for a long time. Okay. Go back to regular vision. Was it this house you were in? No, this is, this is the different house. Okay, so let's go and check. I think it was this house you pointed at. It's tough. They all look very similar. Hello. Saber, how's it going uh, about that evidence? Want to check your progress? Let's see what you found. Data for the Iron Will Pokemon is 100%. Data for the Cavern is at 100. Data for the Grassland is at 100. Got 100% of the data you needed. You, yep, yep, I got all that. Can you tell me where they are? There should be enough data for us to pin down where these legendary Pokemon live. So I feed all this data into my trusty Pokemon Finder. Searching for energy signatures. You're really typing away, huh? I just found matching Pokemon. The Iron Will Pokemon can be found at the Frigid Sea. Cavern Pokemon in the Lakeside Cave, the Grassland Pokemon in the Giant's Bed. You finally get to come face to face with the legendary Pokemon I've been searching for. Best of luck, Saber. Okay, well. Yamper, what a good boy. And a random Beldum. Can I sniff her boots? I mean, what? Um, okay, so. The first one was in the... So we got the Giant's Bed, the Frigid Sea. Um... Giant's bed, huh? Over here? Well, could it be that one cavern there? No, because that's this. Well, let's let's take a look for where these dudes might be, because she just said, yeah, it's just there. Are they just going to be out in the open, or are they going to be, like, hidden away? I guess we'll have to see. Because there are definitely two different ways they can appear. You know? We'll have to see. Maybe around the ruins? They do love the ruins of humanity. They do love seeing mankind be all broken and stuff. Like how even in this, like, dank endgame, it's like, here, take this antidote. Right? It's like, okay. Well, that's... That's not necessarily what I really need. Okay. Island? Perhaps hiding on this little island? Uh, I don't see it over there. Hmm. Now, I did find a mysterious grave. Oh, and I th this is the Regigigas one. This is the one where if you bring all the Regis, you can fight a level 100 Regigigas in a solo raid battle. Yeah, uh, that's not happening. That's ridiculous. It's just a bit too much, you know? To expect a level 100, you know... And, and because you have to have all five Regis, you're pretty much only actually permitted to bring one Pokemon at that point, if you think about it. Which is, yeah, no, it's a little bit too much for me. Dreepy's just hanging out. Dragapult, rather. Um. Jeez, there's old cemetery? Is this going to be labeled with different stuff? No. Well, that's technically a different area. We need to actually be in the proper giant's bed. I just don't want to go into the grass. 
<laughs> Avoiding. Okay. Hmm. If by the end of looking around this corner I don't find it, I will be looking up a guide. Okay, well, we are back to where we started. So, uh... Let me see if I can find where they are. So let's see here. This is the Crown Tundra Musketeer Trio. Where are they? How to find Verizian. That's who I'm looking for. Um, so to start looking, you'll need to speak, get them. Um, okay. Players go from the village eastern, head south, continue down... With a giant rock on the right and some ruins, follow the path that goes between two large passes. Be able to see a Dynamax den on the left? Is that, like, right where we are? Dynamax den on the left? Am I correct? No. Cool. I love you not actually just showing me where it is in-game. Okay, so there was... Okay... Is it going to be in, like, a... A den? Or, like... And is this a different area? This is the frost point. Okay. Well, I'm gonna cut ahead to while I find it. Oh! There it is. I'm gonna hit that save button. Alright. So... Let's, uh... Does it, like, want to attack me? Can I yelp at it? Hello? Wow! Is it actually, like, straight-up benevolent? How interesting. Wow, okay. Hello, Verizian. Okay. Verizian Wireless. So. I'm going to try... ...and not kill you in a single hit. So let's use Psychic to start, because I won't be as powerful. Close combat, huh? Okay. Well, that's going to lower your stats. Okay. Wah wah wee wah! That's incredible! Okay, well. Let's. Oh, do I not. Do I have, um. I don't have them anymore. I don't think I have anyone who actually has. effect moves anymore. Whoops! I forgot about that. Alright, let's go with, um. Honestly, well, just for now. Just some Ultra Balls. Oh, I guess I could use Repeat Balls, because I already have them. Oh, we got a critical capture, huh? I still can't believe critical captures can fail. That's not going to do much, dude. Okay. Because you're not my first. That is the best one for you. If I got a critical capture with that, I would have almost surely got it. Swords dance, huh? Getting bulky, boyo. Okay. Peat ball. One, two, three. Dang it. That's going to hurt a bit. Yep. Okay, you're out. That's fine. Let's use next Pokemon. Um, do you have... Aftermath would be bad. We're not going to do that. Um, let's go with you for now. now. If I were to use, um... The... King Shield, that would lower your stats, right? Lowers the attack? Sure, let's do that to get started. Because in that way, you have less of a chance of actually hurting me. Leaf Blade, we defend ourselves, which causes you to decrease your attack. Good. Now we're going to use a ball. In the next turn, we're going to do a King Shield again, because you can't use it consecutively. Okay. 
Well, you're gonna Sword Stance. That's actually gonna mean not a lot, huh? We are coming out to a almost net zero. Oh, it can still fail. It can still fail if even you're using it consecutively is with something in between. Okay, well, that's good to know. Okay, close combat. Would that even work? Because I'm ghost type? Well, the go I, it's always tough to tell when there's... When it's super effective and ineffective, how it works. Okay. Yes. Yeah. -ha. Cool beans. Verizian was caught. Nice. Okay, we got you. We're definitely going to switch out for our other guy in a sec. Okay, so we got one. So let's go and to the boxes. I'm going to switch out Shinji. You can be switched out with um, the Amoongus. Because he is a good friend who doesn't kill automatically, you know? There we go. Um, okay. And you're dead, so let's revive you. Not that I'll be using these revives for anything else really in the game, so at least where we're at. Um, you know what? I uh, no, I'm not gonna waste a max revive, because you never know when I might need that, but not right now. I guess I have those revival herbs, too. And a max potion. Okay. Alright, so... The next one we need to go for is... At the... Uh, the Frigid Sea. So, let's go ahead there. Frigid Sea. That's right here, right? Yeah, so we'll go to the three-point pass... All right, to the sea, to the sea, to the sea we go. I still can't get over how Dreepy was so rare in the base game, and now it's like, nah, you're fine. You know? It's like, you can just find them wherever. I'm going to take a bet he's going to be on the island over there. But if not, I'll check around. Because I just have a, a little guide up on the computer saying they're general locations. You know, just to help a bit, but we'll see here. Okay, I'm going to go fairly slowly. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, I was right. Okay. Save again, because I don't want to kill him. Okay. Hey, dude. Are you also benevolent? Or are you, like, going to ram me like a goat? It's really cool how they're just like, these guys are, when you're so big and powerful, like, what are humans to you? I like when Monster Hunter does that, because if you run into a wild elder dragon, they don't care about you. Like, what are they going to do? They don't care. Um, I should try Glacial Lance just to see how much damage it does. Because with the, with the hail, that's not a good thing. Ow. Oh, we flinched. Cool. Yeah, Hail's gonna make this suck. Look how much that did, actually. Try Giga Drain, actually. Sword Stance. Getting bulky. Getting strong. How much we do? Are we, even, are we even gonna get, like, a net positive? Or will the Life Orb then take some away? It does. Wow. That was actually actually looked like I took more damage. Thinking about camping? Well, that's, that is an idea. Aye! Okay. So let's see, we're at like 48 before. So let's see here. 48, we go up to 66. And we go down to 39. <laughs> Whoopsie doopsie! Okay, well that's fine. Um, if we die, we'll send out a Moongus, so... Thankfully, we'll get back some more... Well, I say we'll get back some more HP, but we really won't. Life Orb is... Positive and negative. Buff by Hail. Okay. Sacred Sword, that's gonna kill. Yep. That's about right. 
All right, time for a fungus amoongus. Okay, so we're going to take you out, and we're gonna try smog. Not smog, um, spore rather. Try that. That's not gonna deal a lot. Never mind. Take this sick vine shroom. Good night, sweet prince. God, you are big. I know it's just because, like, in comparison, the other guy's small, but, like, yeah, there is there is some differential in size for sure. Okay, so now let's go with a repeat ball. That is the best one for this situation. Oh, it's gonna be super annoying to try and catch them while they are, um, while there's hail, huh? I think I have one more hit before it's done. Okay. Let's try... Again, though, knowing how this game rolls, it'll probably just, um, go back to the wild if I kill it. Most Pokemon games don't do the thing now when you kill a legendary. It's, like, gone for good. Any of the ones that are one and done, they usually make them appear somewhere else or something. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Aw, oh, jeez. Let's see what happens. I guess we'll learn. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. So is it just gonna leave? Oh, it's, oh, it's just gone. Well. We can fix that. There's probably a button combo that makes it so that you can just reset, but I don't know it off the top of my off the top of my head, you know? Okay. Well, what we're gonna do is I'll cut ahead to when I get him. Hey, we caught it. And I went about it in a bit of a different way. You might notice, yes, that is a level 100 shiny Groudon there. And the reason is very simple. Level 100 shiny Groudon gets rid of the hail. That's right. We changed the weather for Kabalion. Isn't that right, buddy? Isn't that right, big guy? Oh, you are a primal deity, aren't you? You're the embodiment of the sun in anger. All right, well, let's grab this over here. What is it? It's a battle with, uh... Agron. Took me a second. Alright, so the final one, for now at least, is... On my list, which I totally got rid of. It was in the, um... Terrakian is in the Lakeside Cave. Uh, if I recall, isn't that down here? That is there. Cool beans. Let's head there. Alright, you can head on back. Shiny level 100 Japanese Groudon, which made me the coolest kid in the playground, let me tell you. All the people were, all my friends were like, whoa, how'd you get this? And I was like, heh heh, I'm just so cool. And little did they know, it was literally just that I was the only person who knew how to get the Nintendo Wi-Fi working on his DS. And so I went to the global trade station, and it was probably hacked, but then I traded it because I, I never hacked myself. But, you know, if I ended up getting a Pokemon that was hacked, well, that's just how it is, you know? Anyways, we gotta go through here. Gotta go through the foot pass. All right, nope, that's where we were. Never mind. Um, okay, let me cut ahead to while I find it. Nope, there he is. All right, also, an old friend. An old friend out here to come and help out, you know? I'll give him a go. It's been a while since we've seen him. You also uh, nice and benevolent? Well, you're roaring, but... I love it. In fact, I feel like out of all them, he's the one that cares the least. Weirdly, his animation there opens the mouth, but the one out there didn't. Alright. Sword power go up. Ironically, we have our own sacred sword we can use. Though I worry about the damage, honestly. Maybe I'll just start with Ice Fang, and then I can, uh, as I continue, use some, uh... Oh, yeah! Yeah, let's use some false swipes now. 
I mean, they're not very powerful, but False Swipe never kills, and boy, is that useful. Okay. False Swipe again. No matter what. Very nice. Now, we are in a cave, and caves do mean that we do have the bonus for Dusk Balls, but I think overall, Repeat Ball is still the best. Okay. Close combat. It's gonna hurt, but it's also gonna do less damage over time. Okay. It is a bit of a shame that, like, while I did, like, because I have um, both, I have a, a Zamazenta and a Zaxian, but you can only get one of the actual swords, or, like, you can't get the shield in the sword version, so you never get his, like, true form, which is a bit of a shame, but at the same time, it's like, eh, it is what it is. So one thing that I'm not going to be showing on camera, but something that you can do, is if you get um, 10 Ultra Beasts caught in the Dynamax Adventures, you do get a Poipal, which is rare, and the phone is ringing right by where I am. So I'm going to answer the phone. Give me a second. Okay, and we are back. Let's keep using these. It's like the only time I've had my um, phone in in near near the camera range and it's like just didn't think just didn't think would happen all right so let's go and put this fellow to sleep yes we're going to use another pokemon we're going to use spore with you okay we need spore uh, oh no! <laughs> well, it didn't kill. As long as it hits, which it does, good. Status type, type attacks like that are always a crapshoot. And thankfully, thankfully, we have the ability to uh, heal ourselves just a bit with leftovers. Okay. One, two... Three! Hurrah! Terrakian was caught. Cool, cool, cool. Again, I've already, I have already have ones of these. And I'm not going to go and um, grind for their shinies, because I don't care that much, honestly. Um, so, what I do want to check, though, before we get going, is I'm going to stifle, <laughs> stifle a sneeze like that. And by stifle, I mean let it fly. Uh, we're gonna go and put you into the PC. You are going into this one right here. Terrakian got put over here, so you're gonna come out and go over here. I'm gonna check. Have we got any um, marks on these guys? Because those are always fun to check for now. <laughs> oh god, I guess I'm allergic to Terrakian. Let's see here. No seals, no marks. Darn it. Well, that that could have been fun. Um. I think I put on seal, like, I, I went through, and any of them that had the stuff, I put on a lot of them. Not Poipul there. But, like, you know, a lot of these guys have them because they've got different stuff, so. Um, okay, well, let's go return to Sonya and see if she hints at the final thing you can do with these guys. Uh, I will be doing it, of course, because I want to show it off, so... Let's go in and first off, let's heal our Pokemon because we can do that in here. Home base. Restore Pokemon for free, you know, as opposed to any other time when it's free. Um, so let's go ahead over to Sonia's pad, which is I again, I'm fairly certain this one. Do we need to show them to her? Well, let's see here. Uh, that Pokemon, isn't that the Iron Roll Pokemon Kabalion? I was right! I knew my theory was right! Or, sorry, please don't mind me, just got a bit excited. You deserve a reward? A ten, oh, that's nothing. Okay, let's show the next one. Keep up the search. Is that the Cavern, cavern Pokemon? Alright, uh, Sugar, there I go again, but it's a bit hard to contain my excitement. Take this for giving a chance. Is it mediums? Oh, how did I know? Okay, just one more we haven't tracked down, so hop on it. You've got this. 
Okay. That Pokemon, I knew it. That's the Grassland Pokemon Verisian. We did it. This is just amazing. Who's the greatest professor in Galar now? Well, me. I found all these legendaries. Don't tell my grand I said that, would you? But I couldn't be happier about what we've done here. I hope you'll take this as a little reward. Ten large candies. Okay. It's all thanks to you, Saber, that I was able to prove my theory was correct. Thank you so much. You're, you'd make a first-rate assistant for my work if you weren't already the champion. You know, there's an old legend about Kabalian, Tarakian, and Verizian. It's said that to protect their allies, they wage battle against humans bent on destruction. And ever since then, they've kept themselves apart from humanity. But the fact remains that they agreed to become your po- oh, agreed. I guess maybe they're willing to give humanity another chance? It warms your heart a bit, doesn't it? Now then, enough dithering about. I've got to get back home and write this all up. I'll be seeing you around. Don't catch cold in this freezing place and have fun with your adventures. So you're just leaving? Come on, Yamper, we're heading home. Work? You're adorable. Why would they ever let you evolve? Boltund is a problem. Is that it? Do they not... Is there no hints as to what to do with these dudes? For realsies? Maybe it's in other dialogue or something, but... I mean, I know what to do, so I'm gonna go do it. So, let's go over to... The sea here. Not the sea, but the island. Belmare Lake. And... I stumbled across this while I was playing myself, um, though thankfully I had been told about it already, so I kind of knew what's going to happen, but it's still like, yeah, you wouldn't know unless you were told, because this, this, is, this is fairly obscure. So you come here, and there is a pot. Oh, actually, there's new hooves there, huh? Pokemon evidence unlike you've seen before. And a pot. So. This is kind of... This This is the obscure Pokemon stuff that I kind of legit love. That you really don't get anymore. Pokemon are now so easy to find. This is cool. So, you go like this. I'm gonna save my game. Now that said, part of me kind of wants a shiny reset for this guy. But part of me also knows that I don't have that time. So what you actually want to do is you want to camp. With all these fellows, look at all of them here, we're going to make some curry. Start cooking. Let's see what type shall we make. What will we bring out to, to make them want to join humanity? Answer Bob's food tin. And let's use some, uh, some high-ranking berries. Uh, let's go with three Ganlon, two Lychee... Tutanga, Papaya, Chesto, and Capia. Yeah, let's make it let's make it nice and good. Here we go. First off, we gotta start by warming it up so much. Thanks, Bob. Gotta make the fire nice and hot. Oh, they love it. Nice and hot. Look at them. They're cheering. Rotate nice and fast, but not too fast. It's much easier to get a hot fire going with multiple people. Alright. And throw her in. Good enough. I still don't get how to make him excited when you do that. Okay. Come on, everyone. Rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Let's get this grub dry, juicy, curry. Wait, was that super shiny? <gasps> Our first one! We got the face! We got a Charizard class. Nice! Well. Did I quit camping? Yes. Alright. You see that? A Pokemon showed up. There he is. So I'm gonna hit save. Is it already in its resolute form? 
If so, yeah, it is. That's interesting. I want to get rid of that because I already have a resolute form one. Keldeo! This is another instance of a previous event only Pokemon becoming regularly catchable. Though, I guess you could say it is event in that it is, you know, you need to actually, like, I'm not going to say work for it, but, you know, like, you have to pay for it, so. We're going to use some false swipes. Yeah, we got that. Hydro Pump. Now, it is water type, so watch out for that. And, of course, it's based off of the Kelpie, which is a Irish myth of a water horse. And a terrifying thing in Berserk. Okay. False swipe. Alright. In fact, I think this guy is the weakest of them all. Uh, at least, well, in his other form. In this form, he's fairly strong, but... I wonder, I wonder how you can change him back. I'm gonna check here. After this, after I get him. Okay, Sacred Sword, that's not gonna do a lot. Nope. Now he's at level... He's at 1 HP. And we're gonna put him to sleep. The conditions for catching him are literally gonna be the best they can be. Um, so we're gonna go Spore... Yeah, I think, uh, not Sacred Sword, his other sword attack is the one I think you have to get rid of. Let's see here. Keldeo, change form. Um, upon learning Secret Sword. Okay, you need to get rid of Secret Sword then. Secret Sword, not Sacred Sword. Those are different. Okay, so let's see here. What type of balls would be good, actually? I mean, honestly, a net ball? He is water type. Hmm. Probably our best choice, actually. Plus, how often do you get to put an event Pokemon in a non-event ball, so... Oh my god, really? Oh my god, really? Sick! Well, welcome to the team, Keldeo! That was easy. Okay. Keldeo's been sent to a box. Cool. Well, there we go. We got all three, all four of the Musketeer Pokemon. Though, I do want to, as I say, I'm going to bring you into the party. I'm going to get rid of Secret Secret Sword to get something, to get a, a form that I don't have otherwise. Because, like, I don't, I straight up don't have a Keldeo that is not in its uh, a regular base form Keldeo, Keldeo. So, let's break off its horn in front of its friends and family. Which we'll do by giving him, uh, Calm Mind. In his calmness, he breaks off his horn. Is he gonna, like, change? Yeah, there we go. Learn Calm Mind instead. So let's take a look. So yeah, you can see now. Now he's got, like... The eyebrows instead. Which is... It's kind of... It's kind of neat. I like how it's like... He gets the eyebrows of what it should be his regular horn. And they kind of like go up to make the real horn. That's neat. Um, I think it would be more easily seen in the Pokedex. Is he even in the Pokedex here? He's actually not even in the Pokedex, huh? That's a problem. I think... Like, I'm not missing many. To actually complete the Pokedex. Like, I'm missing... Let's see here. Okay, so I need a Archeon. I can literally just find that in the wild. I need a... Uh, I can evolve a Lilip. That's not going to be too hard. The only tough ones are going to be the this guy, which I'll need to do another playthrough, and this guy, which I'll need to do another playthrough, which won't be hard because I can just make another... Make another channel. Not another channel. That's the wrong thing. That would mean making a new YouTube channel. No, no, no. I mean, instead, we're going to make a new... Um, uh, profile on the switch. Okay, so we're gonna go to Winden Stadium then because let's finish this off in style Though honestly, this is probably gonna be a second video Yeah, I'm gonna cut it here. It's that okay. I'll see you guys next time for the finale of Pokemon Crown Tundra DLC Ciao